hashtag countdown to Mars, an extraterrestrial Wright Brothers moment happened just yesterday. On February 18, 2021, the new Mars rover called Perseverance touched down on Mars with some interesting technology, part of which is to look for life on Mars. Remember to smash that like button, comment below, share this video out far and wide, subscribe to the channel, and get ready for a microdose of infinity. Welcome back to Waking Infinity News, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a very short microdose episode to give you the news that happened just yesterday. On February 18th, 2021, the new Mars rover Perseverance landed on Mars. Curiosity, Insight, Spirit, Opportunity. These are all the names of the old models of the Mars rover. This brand new one was named by Alexander Mather, a 13-year-old Virginia student. I don't really think that there is a word in any human language that can describe the feeling of having your name selected to be part of a mission from the greatest agency in the world doing the most important things to help humanity spread to the stars. I am 13 years old and I did not expect that I would be making any form of impact on human space exploration like this until I was at least out of college. To me, perseverance means that in the inevitable setbacks that we're going to face on the main way to Mars, humans won't give up. Humans will keep on sending new missions. Humans will keep on improving technologies and humans will eventually live on other places throughout the solar system and maybe even beyond. And that's just so important for all of our futures. What an awesome story. I wish this kid the best in his future and he got his dream. He got to name a Mars rover. So all of these rovers were actually named by children from K through 12. They go through a big submission process, they whittle it down and then they pick the best one. Interesting thing is, is the rover called Perseverance was launched on July 30th, 2020 when the whole COVID pandemonium was happening and it landed on February 18th, 2021. 3.48, it hit the atmosphere. This is Eastern Standard Time, PM. By 3.55 PM, it flawlessly landed. And now the new mission begins. What is the new mission of this rover specifically? Well, it's equipped with a lot of cool technology to look for life on Mars. Space.com wrote an article, NASA's Perseverance Mars rover will land on Thursday, February 18th, which it did, kicking off a pioneering surface mission that will hunt for signs of ancient life. That's the purpose of this mission. Perseverance is equipped with cameras and microphones with very unique abilities to pick up sounds and images as the rover roams around on Mars, and there is a possibility that it can pick up sounds of the planet itself. I'm interested in this primarily because We've heard sounds from the sun, sounds from the earth, sounds from the moon, and they're eerie and awe-inspiring. I'm interested to hear the sounds of Mars. And going further with this thought experiment, what can we learn from the sounds of a planet that maybe had ancient life on it? Well, the first thing we have to do is take a look at the technology we already have available to us and see what this technology can already tell us using sounds from, let's say, humans. There are a few modern technologies that are capable of detecting such subtle nuances in the human voice and the gait cycle that they can diagnose things that doctors today cannot. Such as a team from Columbia University that can diagnose and detect in early stages a psychotic break with 100% accuracy before these breaks even happen, simply using biometric markers in the voice alone. With enough data, enough human voices speaking to it, it can detect with 100% accuracy whether somebody is going to have a psychotic break or not. Now expand this out to future missions where we have gathered a lot of data, a lot of sounds coming from Mars. 
So the technology can, oh, I don't know, discern between these sounds and say, we've come to detect something that we did not expect. Let's say life on Mars. If you can use a technology to detect early signs of illness in a human with enough data, what could we learn about a planet? And then moving forward from that, there's technology that's present in our phones today that can detect neurodegenerative diseases with 99% accuracy. At Aston University, Max Little developed a diagnostic app by studying the gait cycle or the walking patterns of people from the motion sensors in our phones that are already there. So we can look at NASA's website and see what technology they're already telling us that Perseverance was retrofitted with and what they intend to do with it. However, I'm a believer that we're not always told what we're studying and why. So potentially Perseverance could have been retrofitted with technology that we're allowed to be told about, but we're not allowed to be told about why and exactly what kind of data they're going to start gathering and what they're trying to diagnose. It's just a thought experiment. But another thing we do know is there was a technology that was brought to Mars that can start turning carbon dioxide into oxygen. My theory goes way out there, but this is going to go into Elon Musk's new home after he sells his house in Austin. Just a theory, but he says by 2025, potentially we'll have people living on Mars. There are theories that say some people are already living on Mars, and even crazier theories saying that Barack Obama and the head of DARPA were actually sent to Mars, teleported there in their teens. I don't really buy all that crap. I think a lot of theories are put out there just to intentionally make other theories look silly and stupid. But two people from the government did corroborate this story talking about Operation Moonshadow and Project Pegasus in the teleportation of children to Mars. So whatever, take it with a grain of salt. But I will say this, the last thing I'll show you is a picture that came from one of the previous rover missions of this interesting rock. Now, this is obviously a doctored photo, but it looks like an alien crouching with a ray gun of some sorts. So, potentially to put this to bed, let's just take a picture of the same exact freaking spot so we can tell whether this is an alien in crouching position getting ready to attack or it's just a rock. That's my news and I'm sticking with it. I'll keep bringing you news because we are going to get some news about whatever Perseverance finds out on Mars. Is there ancient life that we can detect? Who knows? I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for taking this microdose of infinity with me.